Hi guys, welcome back to the channel once again. It's your girl Dumebi Leah. If this is your first time coming across my channel, you're welcome. I do hope you decide to subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, you guys know that I love you. It's so good to have you here. Welcome back. So my usual disclaimer, please this video is strictly for educational purposes. Please do not go searching out the people that I talk about in this video. Don't send them any form of hate, hate comments, threats or violence. This channel does not support any of that. So um, I came across this video and it's been going viral. It's gotten a lot of black women and women of color generally riled up. So it was one of those videos by one of those women who know how to teach other women how to be elegant and classy. One of those. So she made this video and then, you know what, let me just go right ahead and play the video for you. Makeup mistakes elegant ladies never make. Wearing brown lipstick with gloss on top of it or lining your lips in a dark lip liner and filling it out with a nude color. I saw ladies using contouring to contour their lips hoping to achieve an effect of larger lips. It looks ridiculous, especially up close in person. You can see all that makeup around the mouth. I don't understand the obsession of having massive lips. It has to be proportionate with your natural features. Applying concealer under your eyebrow and all over the lip. Again, a completely unnecessary large amount of makeup that makes you look like you're wearing a theatrical mask. It makes you look older and unpolished. In general, the more products you use, the less fresh and attractive you start to look. I already talked about using a lot of full coverage foundations. It never looks good in person. Those makeup tutorials might trick you with special lights and filters, but in real life, you are going to look insecure in your own skin, which is a bad look on anyone. Make sure your skin is clean. Apply a tiny bit of concealer where needed. Do not paint over a large area of your face. Sharp contouring or different silly techniques to paint a new jawline. Again, everyone can see it is painted on top of your face. If this is a professional artsy photo shoot, it is one thing, but if this is how you show up on a random Tuesday afternoon or a day, it is very tacky and completely out of place. Something I said many times before, but I keep seeing that ladies do that, so I feel like I should keep mentioning that these massive fake eyelashes look very cheap and unflattering. I understand the desire to have long, voluminous lashes, but there is a way to make it look natural and pretty, and there is a totally overdoing it and attaching an entire fur animal to your eyelids. Moderation is key, with both volume and length, and when you close your eyes, make sure it is not visible. We can see the glue, we can see the edges that come off. We can see the dirt and dust that get attached to it. You have to make it neat and natural. And makeup is just one thing that most ladies do completely wrong. Your nails, your hair, your style and outfit, it all speaks about your class and taste. I teach how to elevate and upgrade your look so you present yourself in the most elegant, chic and classy way. You will notice a drastic change in your life and how other people treat you when you level up. Besides physical appearance, we also dive into manners, etiquette, we will refine your communication skills, habits and relationships in my Elite Ladies Workshop. So if you're a black woman, heck, even a black man, if you are a woman of color, you would definitely know why that video would be offensive. Because there was definitely some makeup tips there that we use as women of color, especially the first one when it came to the lipstick. So yes, look at my lips. There was a reason I did my lips like this. I lined my lips with a darker brown shade and I filled it in with a nude shade and then I put some gloss on top of it because I'm like, what are you saying? Like, <laughs> I don't care what you have to say. Anyways, I'm just going to go right ahead and play the stitches and responses because you guys know that black women don't play when it comes to things like that. So we definitely had a lot to say. I don't understand the obsession of having massive lips. It has to be proportionate with your natural features. At this point, is it even considered a microaggression? Because social media has created a safe space for you guys to be bold and upfront with the disrespect. <laughs> And I find it interesting that you're so keen on what's elegant and what's not, but very ignorant when it comes to makeup trends that have been popularized amongst black and brown women. For decades, black and brown women have been lining their lips this way. I remember growing up and watching the way my beautiful brown sisters and Latina women would eat that look down. We popularized this trend just like almost every other trend and now we have women like Hailey Bieber calling it brownie glazed lips. I wonder why you didn't use a picture of somebody who looked like her. Elegant is defined as pleasingly graceful and stylish in appearance or manner. In the ignorant manner you are choosing to conduct yourself when it comes to our beautiful facial features and our big lips and the makeup trends we popularized is not elegant. It's tacky and so are you. 
achieve an effect of larger lips. It looks ridiculous. Say what you really want to say. Just spit it out and say it. I don't have a problem with femininity or elegance content, but as a non-dark skin person, you are the wrong person for this particular tip. And I've been doing makeup for a very long time. So while you may be the expert at that one thing, unfortunately, you're going to have to learn from me on this one. And perhaps you can use some of this advice to tweak your future curriculum. And I do see that you follow me. So I'm going to explain to you why that particular tip was not received well by people who look like me in your comment section on that video. For dark skin people, wearing a dark brown lip pencil is literally the only way to get most lip colors to be flattering on our complexion. Like there's just no way around it. Now there's also levels to it. Obviously the look can go from more extreme to more subtle, but either way it is a thing. Most of us are just not all one skin color, especially on our face. For example, I have pigmented lips. It's just normal. Have you ever seen someone with dark skin trying to wear like a nude or like a peachy or like a pale pink lip color, but around the perimeter it looks ashy? That's what happens when you don't know how to do a trend to suit your complexion. Now I quite literally, literally made a career out of doing that. Showing brown girls how to do that, but for us. I'm not an elegance expert, but I do know a thing or two about being in an industry that was always quicker to say, that don't work on your complexion, this looks tacky on you, this looks ridiculous, versus what they should have been doing is saying, here's a brush, I'm gonna show you how to do this on your skin tone. You need to be super careful in the future about using blanket statements, like not elegant, ridiculous, when talking about beauty rituals that are specific to a particular culture. And if for whatever reason, if you just did not know that the brown lip liner thing was connected to most brown girls' beauty routines, then it sounds like you have some rewriting to do. Thank you and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Lips in the dark lip liner and filling it out with a nude color. Interesting. But I thought that brownie glazed lips was all the rage. So it's cool when they do it, but it's a problem when we do it. These conversations of what is classy, what is elegant, and what isn't is honestly just very elitist and racist as we can see. If you can't pull off the look, just say that. Filling it out with a nude color. Why I never follow these accounts that talk about how to carry yourself as an elegant lady is that they are always trash. They are always trash. If they're 10, it's just two that would actually know what they're talking about because I don't understand how this lady, you would have just actually used, you know, pictures of women of, you know, of any color from every race but you just decided to pick out black women. Black women. And you're talking about big lips. Don't you know that black girls have natural big lips? A few months ago, when he did the whole glossy brown lips thingy, the whole girlies were gagging. Y'all loved it. On a praised girl for months. Forgetting that this is something that it's it's a black thing. Black people have always done this thing. Because we just naturally have big lips. You're not using the white girls who have little to no lips that overline their lips and get lip fillers to talk about this whole thing. You're using black women specifically. Every picture there was a black woman. I feel bad for black women in America because every day you guys get picked on. You guys get picked on by someone who looks like white or think they are white. Who think they can white pass because she's not even white. You're Asian. You're a person of color. You're a minority group. God, I don't even understand. Like it's so you look so dumb doing it. And if you go down her videos, like you see that she has always called out black black women. I don't know why. I don't understand. If you have a problem with the race black, just say it. Everyone who's commenting is a white girl. She's deleting all the black girls' comments. Jesus, get the life. We know an elegant lady when we see one. You don't need to tell us you're elegant. Elegant people mind their business. Elegant people make researches before they talk, especially when they're talking about beauty, because who sets these beauty standards? You think because you're speaking in a very soft tone, we would not find out the disrespect. Stop deleting my comments. <laughs> Rubbish. Sit down behind one dead background talking about elegance. Elegant ladies mind their business and sip on champagne. Miss Level Blue, elegant beauty. I have a message for you. You know, as Filipino women, our people, our ancestors, unfortunately had to assimilate to colonial standards and beauty standards. When you make a video as POC, and you know, I do notice that you are light skinned, so probably you don't have the same um, experience as other darker skinned Filipino women or people of color or beautiful black goddesses like you chose to use as examples. You don't have the same experience so you don't understand. But how f***ing ignorant of you to really post that and say all that shit with your whole ass chest. So sad that you have 
continue to assimilate and not decolonize your mind, your body, your spirit, and especially our beauty and try to put others down and use them as an example. Because you can have your own opinions, of course. Miss fuck brownie sugar lips white girl was trying to make this a new trend and all of a sudden got really popping and famous and trendy and so on and so forth. But you didn't choose to use her. I wonder why that is. We all know why the f that is. As Filipino women and Filipino people, we have also experienced colorism, racism, and all the things that you probably think you haven't experienced because you are a light-skinned Filipino woman. How do I know you're Filipino? By your accent. Um, and I grew up around that. Don't stay out in the sun too long, you're gonna be dark. A lot of really f ignorant shit. And so for you to really come on this app where quite literally black women are the fucking blueprint and you want to use them as an example as to how they're not elegant, shame on you. Mind the business that pays you. And please, for the love of God, decolonize your fucking mind. Hoping to achieve Oh no, she didn't. This is why you have to be very, very careful as a content creator. And I'm making this video without any makeup on and any TikTok makeup on. So uno can see my lips very well. See them there? I saw we born, my girl. I saw we born. It is not for we fault that uno want appropriate for we lips. That uno want uno lips to look like them brown on the outside and pink on the inside. Because we born with it. It is not Maybelline, my girl. We born with it. So if I know we fall, why you never use the other people then? Why you never use? Let me show uno so that uno get a context of where all of this is coming from and why this is so outrageous to us make we take a look and it's so funny because this is a style that black and brown women have been doing for decades black and latina women eat this style up and i think that's the problem and it's so funny because other people come in and try to take credit for this trend and they also profit off of it by getting lip injections and making it seem as though those are their natural lips and sell their lip gloss but when it's actually natural on us we get made fun of for it and say that it's not classy how was it not now you understand what me i said right so this would have been such a different movie if you would have started your video like this makeup mistake classic ladies never make do not try to imitate or be something that you are not do not try to imitate full lips if you were not born with them Eh, I tell Uno, you know, we have to be careful because me did I follow her. We have to be careful because uh, who tell me now that this lady is no expert about what classic lady and whatever it is. And who are we trying to really uh, please with this follow to be a classic lady type of thing? Man, we paint for our lips how we want because we like it and that's the end of the story. Now this is very easily what your video could have looked like. Uh, makeup mistakes elegant ladies never make. Wearing brown lipstick with gloss on top of it or lining your lips in a dark lip liner and filling it out with a nude color. But that's not at all what it looks like, is it? This is what it actually looked like. Uh, makeup mistakes elegant ladies never make. Wearing brown lipstick with gloss on top of it or lining your lips in a dark lip liner and filling it out with a nude color. I you said the quiet part out loud, huh? And now if you have these ideals and standards of what elegant beauty is, which I think you should ask yourself where these standards actually come from, because I don't think you ever have. But when you only feature black and brown women in a video like that, you could have very easily featured women of all colors. I, of course, have to ask myself, are these actual standards of beauty or is this something else? Because when we perpetuate ideas like this, do we ask ourselves whose standards of beauty are we upholding? And, and in those standards, who are we including and excluding? Because frankly, I don't, I don't think you ever have. Also, you'll have to uh, forgive me if I take a pass on your elite ladies workshop. Um, <laughs> I'm good. Wearing brown lipstick with gloss on top. Majority of the women she used are black. But you know what's so hilarious, but like very common. Every time a black woman tries to show appreciation to her culture, it's always labeled ghetto. It's like an all the time thing with box braids, lining your lips, wearing hoops. When does it ever stop? 
This woman's really gonna talk about lining your lips and wearing lip gloss makes you unelegant. How does that make sense? But what bugs me out, you're not using the right pictures. You're talking about women overlining their lips to make their lips appear more bigger. But the woman you use naturally have big lips. Now you could have used her or her because we all know their natural lips are small and they literally overline their lips to make it appear bigger or get lip fillers. But would you say that's unelegant? Now what I heard, you got cosmetic surgery to make your eyes appear wider. Does that make you unelegant? Or are you just gonna sit down and call the girls who naturally have wide eyes unelegant? Now what I find ironic, you do not acknowledge the people who uses the blueprints culture. Cause as I said before, you had a bunch of options, a whole lot of options that would've went perfectly well with your TikTok. But you chose the blueprints, the people who got the big lips naturally, the beautiful black woman. If you were to sit me down and ask me, how do I feel about that TikTok? I'm going to say I feel like it's anti-black. And if you literally scroll through the comments, the people agreeing with the TikTok are white. But they're not ready for that conversation though. And back to the lining lips again. As another TikToker stated, the darker your skin complexion is, the more difficult it is to find the perfect lip gloss or lipstick shade. Because some colors be looking ashy as hell on us, as she said too. And that's why many of us line our lips and add that color so it won't look ashy. But again, you wouldn't know because you're melanin deficient. Instead of taking the time out of your day to make a TikTok talking about tips to make yourself look like an elegant woman, or whatever you may call it, that absolutely nobody asks for. Before you use examples, make sure you see the features correctly and make sure you know the meaning behind the things you're saying. Because that whole TikTok was just very ignorant. And filling it out with a nude color. Career mistake that elegance ladies don't make is to post something racist and ignorant on social media have tons of accountability in the comment section where more than 80 percent of the comments are telling you that you're wrong you're being ignorant and racist and you ignore them all and instead you have the time to respond to the less than 20 percent of the comment section that's telling you that you're awesome coming from people who are just as ignorant and racist as you are then you have the time to go and disable the tagging feature on your profile so that people who are responding to your video and holding you accountable are not able to tag you in it I know this because Jackie Aina responded to your video and she tagged you in it. And now when I try to respond to your video, I can't tag you in it. Elegance isn't about what you wear and the table etiquette you have. Social elegance is about understanding people, human experiences, and having true empathy and compassion. Embodying true strength and elegance is being able to look at your own mistakes, take accountability, apologize, and do better. I know that video that's circulating about white women talking about wearing lip liner on your lips and how that's not elegant then proceeds to use the images of black women as an example of how that isn't elegant. My question is, why are always on our back? Black women could literally be minding their business, doing what they do, dressing how they dress, and somebody will still have something to say, especially y'all. And the thing is, our looks, how we like to look, how we like to do our makeup, wear our lashes, have our hair, was never for the white male gaze. It was never that, believe me. And the crazy part about it all is that she talks about overlining our lips with the lip liner. We don't do that, sis. We have full voluptuous lips. If anything, we're accentuating our lips. However, there's another demographic of people that do that to make their lips look bigger and they're over here drawing it on their chin. Girl, don't play with us. My great brown lipstick with gloss on top. Girl, please shut your mouth. Shut up up it really be women doing this to their fellow women haven't we been policed enough from being kids you can't do this as a woman you can't be this way as a woman you can't wear this as a woman you can't say this as a woman and now you want to tell us how to be elegant leave us alone who told you that you can determine what's elegant and what's not elegant to me they just use the word elegant classy and all this rubbish as a way to say how to be white or how to be the perfect little woman so that men can find you attractive. It's all honestly so deeply rooted in misogyny. It makes me sick and I'm very, very much sick of this particular lady. I see her all the time on my for you page and I'm like, bitch, shut up. Talking about something you can't line your lips. Look at my lips. Lined by God. Already darker. Man, bye. I think the stitch I was most excited to see was this one by Jackie Aino because Jackie Aino is like, she's iconic. I love Jackie. You know, when it comes to beauty, especially for black people, Jackie has done a lot. She has like one of the biggest beauty channels by any black beauty content creator. So I felt like she was definitely 
one of the most qualified people to speak on this and even i being a makeup artist when i watch that video i'm like what is this person talking about i'm sorry if you guys can hear any noise in the background that those are actually my neighbor's kids playing so i hope it's not too loud i'm sorry so for someone who is not a member of our community to think she has the right to tell us how to do our makeup and what looks tacky and what looks elegant and what doesn't now she picked a beauty trend that has been existing for how long even if you go back to pictures of black women in the 90s we've been doing the whole brown lip liner with lip gloss it looks so beautiful it looks gorgeous on melanin skin like we don't even care what you think honey we, we really don't black women are not checking for you what we should be asking you is why are you all up in our business why and then there was something that she said that i was like I don't understand the obsession of having massive lips. It has to be proportionate with your natural features. And I was like, okay, um, ma'am, who are you talking to? Who is that statement directed to? Is it the black women who already have naturally full, luscious lips? Or are you talking about the other people, the other ones who do everything within their power, using makeup and surgery and in lip injections and all of that to try to imitate what we have naturally. So if you're referring to the people who are obsessed with wanting to have larger lips, which they don't naturally have, why was it that when you were making the examples of the way people apply their lipsticks, you used only black women? You know, like, are you guys seeing there's definitely some anti-blackness that was being projected in that video and that is what black people took offense to that aside the fact that that makeup technique is that's one of like the first basic things you learn as a black girl when you start learning how to do your makeup you learn how to line your lips and how to use a lip gloss because it's always popping i've not seen any color of people that are able to rock that particular technique like black women so yes if you're not black please stay out of black people's business don't try to tell us what to do how to wear our hair how to do our makeup how to carry ourselves stop trying to give us femininity tips and tricks that nobody asks you for because what works for you may not necessarily work for everyone else what works for you and your group of people may not necessarily work for black women and we are okay over here so well that's all i have to say she got all the dragging that i think she kind of asked for and her video is still up meaning she really doesn't care or she's unapologetic about it that's really none of my business i don't think anybody took her seriously that video obviously did not do whatever she intended for it to do and i don't even know if she has that amount of views on a normal day so maybe this video just gave her the two minutes of fame that she was looking for but whatever i'm happy that people came out and responded it's like i don't know this is the second elegance coach that i'm covering on this channel the first one was this lady that was talking about black hair and i'm like okay is it going to be a trend like in the next five to ten working days is there going to be another person that is not a member of our race coming to talk about black women and the way we should carry ourselves and present ourselves i'm curious at this point like is this a thing now you guys let me know what you think in the comment section please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in my next video bye